find the power delivered by the 2 ampere current source in this circuit. Let's solve this problem together. We know three formulas for electric power. Voltage times current, the square of voltage divided by resistance, or the square of current times resistance. When we want to find the power delivered or absorbed by a current source or a voltage source, we always use the first formula. So in this problem, it's only a case of finding the voltage V across the current source and then multiplying it by two. To find this voltage V, we can use a range of circuit analysis techniques like the node voltage method or mesh analysis, which I already have multiple videos on, but this time I'd like to present an instructive method that sheds light on an important point in circuit analysis. I see two voltage sources in series with resistors. So I'm going to use source transformation to convert this circuit into the following. We'll have three current sources and two resistors in parallel. To find the current sources, we'll use Ohm's law. For this source, we'll have 20 volts over 15 ohms, which is 4 over 3 amperes. The other current source will be 25 volts over 10 ohms, which is 5 over 2 amperes. Now, here's the important point I wanted to raise. We did not lose the labeled quantity in the process of simplifying the circuit. This voltage V is still intact. Not only that, but we can also simplify the circuit further while retaining this labeled V. We have current sources in parallel as well as resistors in parallel, so we can combine those and have this simplified circuit. Because this is all one node, the voltage V is still retained in the simplified circuit. The combined current source will just be the sum because all the sources are pointing in the same direction. This gives us 35 over 6 amperes. And the combined resistor is the parallel combination of 15 and 10, which is 6 ohms. So we can find the voltage V by a simple application of Ohm's law. V is the voltage across this 6 ohm resistor, so we get 35 volts as the labeled quantity V. So all we have to do now is plug this 35 in the power equation, multiply it by 2, giving us 70 watts. So this must be the power delivered by the 2 ampere source.